Hi, friends. Friends of friends and their friends, too. I'm Lance Banker, Production Director for the Baltimore Rock Opera Society. And I'm Anna Pattis, Captain of Special Events. We're here to tell you about the exciting next offering coming from Baltimore Rock Opera Society. A challenge made by you. The online opera series. Oops. We're looking for a homemade musical video using just who and what you have with you in quarantine. Our favorite 10 videos will be presented online as the Baltimore Rock Opera Society's online opera series. You'll be able to share them to try and campaign the public for as many votes as you can get. The winning submission will get a bros reshoot of their video, increasing the production value slightly while maintaining the same length and content. Whenever we can safely get together. The reshot version of the winning opera will get a premiere at a bros event in 2021. Official rules. Be safe. Make your video using only the stuff and people you have with you at home. Don't risk getting sick or getting others sick for your opera. Your online opera must be musical. But the only rule on that is don't use any copywritten recorded material. Lastly, no longer than three minutes in length. The Bros Artistic Council will be choosing submissions that best represent the unibrow. Bro's signature aesthetic of both high and low brow. Now, what does that look like, Anna? To answer that question, Lance Bankard has created an example opera. Lance? That's right, Anna. Now, for your viewing pleasure, the unauthorized origin story. Forget about it. The acapella rock opera. Sit down, my friend, and take off a load. I'll tell you a tale you've never been told. All about the day a spaghetti was born. A story of three men, three ingredients too. Who cares if it's true? I don't, do you? Now, there were three men in particular who were convinced that they had the dish that should be served for the emperor himself. The first was a man who owned the great meatball ranches. I am your meatball, it's a treat, y'all, not to be beat, y'all. I have brought a meatball for you to enjoy. The second man who thought that he had the winning dish was Doug. Well, there's Bree Mans and Jack Mans and Cheddar Mans and Swiss Mans. There's feta mines and gouda mines and fine wines that pair with what we mines. But of all of these mines, there's just one that suits me just fine. Well, it's better than just fine. It's Parmesan, so it's the best! <laughs> the third man who was convinced that he had the dish that would make Napoleon himself squeal with delight was a... A strange character, a mysterious man who comes from the other side of town. Now these three, they could not agree on whose dish should represent the village. I do not agree. I, I, I do not agree. So, they did what all the good boys do. They asked their mama. <laughs> now, nobody could understand what her mama said because her mama was a very old. Mama is speaking my language. <laughs> What Mama is saying is that we should each take our ingredients and put them together. And do you know what? Mama was right. It was such a good dish that the Emperor himself said, No! Delicioso! <laughs> so you see, my friends, it takes all of us, each and every one of us, and our special ingredients to make the perfect dish. 
Spaghetti about it, spaghetti about it, don't fret or scream or shout about it, spaghetti about it, spaghetti about it, don't cram up and pout about it, just grab some pals and you will be fine, put in your hands, it's dinner time, spaghetti about it, Fiend. That was beautiful. Thank you, Anna. But I have a question. What if I don't have a gift for musical composition? Ah, now one does not necessarily have to be able to compose music or even play an instrument as you just saw. The important thing is no one should use copywritten recorded material so that they don't get pulled when you put them online. You could use, uh, for example, a piece of classical music, like our own Anna Platis did. Indeed. And now, the dance of the sugar plum fairies from Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker. Now, Anna, was that an opera or a ballet? It's an oops. It's an oops! Submit your opera or any clarifying questions to oops at baltimorerockopera.org. We can't wait to see what you make. Bye! Bye.